What's up guys, the Lazy Goldmaker here, and uh, today I have another TBC gold making guide style video for you. Um, we're gonna take a look at tailoring and we're gonna take a look at one of the most profitable recipes um, you can find. So if you have tailoring and you click this video, then you're in for a treat. We're gonna look at the Bracers of Havoc. So let's uh, dive in. So here we have them, the Bracers of Havoc. Um, these are the pre-raid best in slot bracers for literally all caster DPS. Uh, in phase one of TBC Classic, they were also the actual best in slot bracers. So they were very, very popular back then. They're still very popular. Uh, the only upgrade, or there are two upgrades, but only one that's reasonable is drops from Alar in Tempest Keep. Um, but until you get that drop, which you might not be guaranteed, or maybe you don't prioritize it in your guild's loot system, then these bad boys are going to be your go-to. Um, they're not super expensive. They're very, very good for PvE everyone who gets a fresh level 70 they're gonna want to get these right away they are the second best slot and they're likely to remain so for quite a while um in the slot and they're just gonna be the the absolute best bang for your buck for a fresh level 70 it's not super expensive and it's very very strong uh, now as you can see here i've personally sold 23 of these uh with some gaps in between um i sold a good number here just the first uh two weeks we sold uh, almost half. I've sold 23 and I've made four and a half thousand gold from that. We're assuming that my regular profit strikes in at about 20%. That's 900 gold profit. Um, and of course, just la just the last two weeks, we've sold for 1200 gold. And I, I don't repost much at the moment. And uh, the last 60 days, we have two and a half thousand. So about half of my, uh, my sales, a little bit more from the, this period. Whereas you can see, I haven't been reposting often. Now, the interesting thing is that even in the last week well if you look here even though if you include these the last eight days i've sold four of these and i've only reposted about three or four times so that means i've pretty much sold one every time i've reposted these over the last eight days i think that's pretty amazing i think that's pretty amazing so uh yeah this recipe is really good uh if we're looking at the profit right now we're looking at the 140 gold crafting cost and I've sold them for 250 gold. So that's 120 gold profit. That's as high as 80% profit margin, which is incredible for a crafted item. And uh, I mean, yeah, you can't get much better than that. Of course, in the past, it's been lower, but right now it's incredible on my realm. Uh, can't guarantee that it's the same on, on every realm, of course. Uh, now, the recipe, this is, the, this is the good part about this. Bracers of Havoc, I'm just gonna search it up here. The recipe is just, or a random world drop. You just buy it from the auction house. It's currently selling for about 250 gold on my realm. This is also roughly the region market value, actually a little bit higher, but uh, it's about that 300 gold, 250 gold. Um, right now it's selling for 250 gold on my realm. So I'd be making hundred gold per bracer, which means I need to sell three bracers before I would have made my recipe money back. That's really fast guys, that's really fast. Um, it might be a little bit lower on the region value uh, in terms of how fast you make back your money. Well, I'll show you the calculations later, um, but it's very, very strong. You are making back your money and it's it's an item that sells really fast. The region average daily sold is about 0 0.4, which means on average um, people buy this every three days. So something sells on an average realm. If you're in a higher pop realm, you probably can get sales every day. Um, I get a lot of sales on this recipe, as I said. And as I showed you. Um, so yeah, it's just fantastic. Um, for all those reasons, it's not particularly expensive to get into. You do need to probably have about 500 gold just so you can afford the recipe and to craft one or two bracers right away. Uh, but that's really the only the only limit outside of, of course, having the required tailoring skill, which is 350. So you don't even need to be max tailoring. Uh, and you can do this on any level 60 character. If you level tailoring to 350, which you can do at level 60, then you can get into this market and have some fun. So let's take a look at the materials and uh, how much gold. Well, not I can make, but what you can maybe expect to make based on some region market pricing. So here we are on my tailor. As we can see, the Bracers of Havoc, they require four bolts of imbued netherweave, four primal earth, and four primal shadows. So not too onerous. The bolts of imbued netherweave, of course, crafted by tailors for three netherweave bolts and two arcane dust. Um, and that's six netherweave cloth per bolt, which means that 
to craft this, you're going to need 216 Netherweave Cloth total, 8 Arcane Dust total, and 4 Reach Primal Earth and Primal Shadow. Um, now, all of these materials are materials that are farmed it, at reasonably high rates. They're easy to find on the auction house. Almost always, when you're scanning the auction house, you'll be able to find these, um, and you'll be able to find them at good prices. They're rarely super expensive. Right now, you can see the market value of Primal Shadow, for instance, is 27 gold. The minimum buyout is 24, so I can get some cheaply. More than cheaply enough to make a, a large profit on these items. That's the case with pretty much everything else as well. Nothing nothing of this is like particularly rare or super hard to get. Um, and that's just very nice for someone who's trying to make a profit. And consistently I've seen, as I've said, almost always I've seen more than 30-40% profit margin on the Bracers of Havoc. If we're looking at the EU region market prices, we'll see that the price for... Um, one netherweave cloth is about 18 silver, you'll have uh, arcane dust for about one and a half gold, and then uh, the primal earth is about 2 gold 20 silver, and then it's 23, 22 gold for primal shadows, which leads to, based on region market pricing, you can get you can craft this item, Abrasers of Havoc is going to cost you 150 gold in materials. And how much are you going to make? Well, the region market price on EU for one Bracers of Havoc is 222 gold, uh, giving you 70 gold profit, which is almost as much as 50% profit margin, a little less, like 45% profit margin. Um, which is really, really good. So, um, yeah, I would definitely check this out. What you can do very easily to get an idea of if this is good or not on your realm, is to go to this little website right here. So this is, um, well, this is uh, nexusub.co, and you can go into WoW Classic, and then you can pick your realm here. So pick your realm, I'm on Sandler Tribe Alliance, and then we'll get the profit on this realm. If you go to crafting here, we can see that the market value is 244 gold, the materials, I'm getting 104 gold crafting profit from selling this item. Nice. Very nice. You can also check out the price data on your realm, like the price statistics and quantity and stuff like that. You can see that obviously something happened recently where the price was low the yellow line here and then but there was just one posted that someone realized that they can just cancel their auction and boom 250 gold um so yeah that's the, the item very good to check this website by the way nexushub.co um absolutely fantastic for checking auction house prices on on anything you're interested in uh but just pick your realm here and you can Immediately tell if this how much gold you're gonna make per bracer, and then you can check the price of the bra of the recipe as well. Just blast out the pattern bracers of havoc. Okay, so that's 300 gold. I need to sell three bracers to make back that, and I'll be in big profit territory. Uh, and another note: if there are multiple people with the recipe in your realm, like there's three people, try to message some of them and see if you can bump down the price a bit they might be willing to do so because most people who get these recipes are just going to be random farmers who got them uh randomly they're not target farming them so they are, they might be willing to sell them for um for a little bit of a cheaper price uh, but yeah guys that's it like this item just buy the materials from the auction house the bracers of avoc craft your own netherweave bolts and then your own bolts of imbued netherweave you just have to go to one of the mana looms uh i use the one over here in the lower city um but uh yeah Craft them all, crank out four or five bracers at the time, keep them on your banker, run post scans, and collect gold. It's a fantastic way to utilize tailoring. So if you're tailoring for the spellcloth set or spellfire set or whatever, then definitely pick up this recipe and you're going to make some money. You're going to make some money. Good luck, guys. Uh, now, if you've learned something from this video and you liked it, leave a like or a comment down below. Um, hopefully we've helped you make some gold. If there's something else you'd like me to take a look at, let me know. And uh, we'll see if we can help more of you guys reach your TBC Classic gold making goals. Goodbye!